Then I'm sucks. Why does this guy always put his movie reviews out so late? It's been like a week after the movies came out. You feel like a review on YouTube. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. What's up, y'all? Marjack79 here. And here is my review discussion rant on the new... Uh, established with Marvel movie Venom it wasn't good people it wasn't good I was not happy with it uh, uh, let's talk about the good first let's talk about the good so the one saving factor in it was Tom Hardy I really enjoyed Tom Hardy's character you know I thought he played the role really good I thought he delivered his lines on point and I thought he did a really good job with what he was given let me repeat that. I thought he did a really good job with what he was given, which wasn't much. <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't much, people. It wasn't much. There was no saving grace with this movie at all. Not even the not even the fight scenes. I I let's go ahead and start my list of negative here. So let's start up with the with, with the fight scenes. So this is some of the worst CGI. I think I've ever seen you know you know I I feel like Venom looked like he was on a PlayStation 3 title <laughs> kind of like reminiscent to a uh, maybe on par with like a Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions model I wasn't feeling it man I wasn't feeling it I thought they could have done a lot better it looks like that was definitely one of the things that they just scraped on and said you know what it'd be fine whatever who cares you know and then like on some of the fight scenes you could tell you know when he was it was one where he was fighting the group of cops where they just kept zooming in I don't know what it was with this movie but they just kept zooming in on Venom and it was clear to me that you know they they were zooming in on him because they didn't have the budget or the want to to really flush out the fight choreography so they zoomed in on Venom to you know just look at Venom swinging and kicking and swinging and kicking and maybe just with that I have him roll around and stuff and maybe with that that I have him look good on screen no, <laughs> no, that did not work. And you know, the one that was the most guilty of it was the was the final fight with the, the big the big reveal. Uh, well, not even really a, a reveal. You know, another Cenobite got sent to Earth Two, and the final fight is with him. He's fighting Venom, and they're trying to prevent like uh, a rocket from going to the moon or whatever to bring more Cenobites to Earth to to, to take over the planet. Boring. <laughs> but that fight scene in particular. It was not zoomed out once. It was just a uh, just them rolling around. Just literally, I don't think I saw one punch thrown. You know, he formed some some knives and they threw them at him. Then he forms just a wrecking ball, a spiked wrecking ball, and threw and, and threw that at him. And then they made Venom cuss and throw out some cuss words. He's got shit that you've never even seen. No, <laughs> it wasn't really all that impressive, dude. I, I wasn't feeling it. I was not feeling it. And just and, and like I said, I keep reiterating that they just kept zooming in on the fight. Like it literally looked like two big black bows of pudding just rolling around. Literally just I just I just don't I just don't understand the studio behind Sony who said like this looks really good people I just like this uh, this looks really good this this uh, this is gonna this is gonna work this is gonna work man this is gonna work no no it's not it was terrible man absolutely terrible so let's go to some of the side characters the girl ah, I can't even think of her name now I think her name was like Amy it started it started with an A. I know it started with an A, but I can't remember what the heck it was though. There were some key parts in this movie where I was like, I don't know why she's in this scene, but I don't like it. And she is ruining the scene. This was a good scene until she entered it. It was, uh, I was, I was uh, oh God. I think uh, I think oh man, there's just some I, and then I kept like wanting her to uh, like I thought maybe she would get killed to like maybe be like a motivational factor or some sort but no 
No, I just, uh, and then and then it was another thing at the beginning of the movie where like Tom Hardy's character Eddie Brock like he did some stuff and he and like her character broke up with him and then it just flashed to like six months later and then she's dating this doctor guy and just ah oh, this oh god is so this ah oh, this everything about it was just bad. Every, there was not an aspect of the movie where I was like oh that's really good that's really good no no it was just all bad <laughs> but you know the the biggest sin of the entire movie and and this is and this is becoming a common theme too of superhero movies they live and die by how good their villain is if you have a shit villain in a comic book movie your movie is going to fail it's this all it is to it if you have a shit villain like and i mean like not even shit on par with like no, I thought uh, the dude from Ant Man versus Wasp. I thought he was dumb, but at least you got like the Ant Man and Wasp like comedy to bring it back to the forefront. And I mean, honestly, I thought Ultron was kind of was was kind of weak too. But at least he had some sort of motivation that kept us interested. But this guy, this guy, oh, oh. Every time he entered the screen, I just, I kept, I was fantasizing, I was fantasizing about how he was going to die. <laughs> Mike, is he going to explode? Is he going to get stabbed? Is he going to get his neck broke? Is he going to get shot? What's going to happen to him? Because he has got to go. <laughs> I don't know where they got this guy from, but just, uh, just his motivation for his, what he was trying, trying to do. He's trying to, what's we got to make the uh, humans are just so, just, unspectacular they're just not doing it so we have to bond with the Cenobite to bring the human race to like no shut up shut up it's stupid the whole idea of this motor if his motivations is dumb I hated it I hated it <sighs> just God, just God, just why is it why is it so hard for Sony and Fox to like get these movies right dude and then like they, and then the other thing that could be is like they were so confident they had like an after credit scene where they show like carnage and some other stuff and i'm like no this is the only one there's nothing else is happening after this I don't, nobody else is paying is paying for this oh uh, i took me and my wife i paid 30 30 dollars to go this to go see this movie i want my money back right now i want it back I was not a happy customer after watching this movie. I should have waited for it to come out on Netflix. I should have waited, man. I want my money back. It wasn't good. It wasn't good at all. Everybody's comparing this this Venom to the Venom on Spider-Man uh, 3. They both sucked. They both sucked. <laughs> now, now, like I said, I really liked... You know the no, but but you know the one thing that I did like, I did like some of the conversations between um, Eddie and the and the symbiote. I did like those. No, those had some charm to it. You know when they were just like, hey, you can't just eat everybody. You know some people are bad. We can only eat the bad people. And then the symbiote body's like, why? Uh, how could you tell the difference? <laughs> and Eddie's like, well, we got to figure that out together. I'm like, all right, cool, yeah, I like that. I like that. But oh, so oh, man, if they would have focused on maybe more on that and stopped putting and got a better villain and didn't put the girlfriend on screen so much, I just I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I just, it just wasn't. It just it wasn't good. It was not a good movie. I give that movie a three point two out of ten easily i mean it was it was a good popcorn flick and actually no i'm talking about it, it was not a good popcorn flick we didn't even get popcorn it wasn't even a good a good popcorn flick it was um sit through it because you don't want to waste your money because you don't want to just get up and leave but not, not it was it was not good man it was not good i would not recommend it to anybody it's a unless you're just the most diehard spider-man fan in existence that would be the only people that i would recommend that movie to other than that no that's Skip it. Skip it, man. Just skip it. Alright, with that, I think we'll end it there. So, as always, if you like the video, do me a favor, hit that like button. And even if you didn't like it, like it anyways. I would really appreciate it. Now, you can follow me at YouTube.com slash SmartJack79, Facebook slash blah, 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 Instagram, Twitter. Y'all know what to do. Alright, I got uh, some more Tomb Raider stuff coming up uh, this weekend, too. So, look forward to that. Until then, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.